For the last few days, I've been up in Whitby talking to the fishermen, uh, of course, who have had uh, the end of their quotas now, all their boats for sale, and it's the end of the fishing industry, I think, as we know it, on that coast, with the exception of a few crabs and lobsters and shellfish. A terrible, terrible shame. Uh, Sir Edward Heath gave away our fishing industry in 1972, so desperate was he to join this appalling and corrupt European Union. So now, uh, as a country, we are an island race, we are now net importers of fish. Uh, I don't know how we got to this terrible state of affairs, absolutely hopeless. And today, at 7 o'clock this morning, uh, I was doing Radio York with the so-called uh, fisheries minister. Of course, there's no such thing. Uh, we don't control our fishery policy anymore. We haven't done for years. It's controlled by a Maltese guy called Joe Berg, and everything is run from Brussels. So it's not an industry which we control anymore. And, you know, uh, although it's disgraceful and shameful that all these politicians appear to have had their hand in the till, uh, ripping off taxpayers with all their uh, expenses for bath plugs and mirrors and television sets, you know. We know that they're fiscally dishonest, but what is infinitely worse, in my view, is that they are intellectually dishonest. They're still pretending that we run our own country. We don't run our agricultural policy, we don't run our fishing policy, we don't run our environmental policy, and we don't run our employment policy. 75% of all our laws now uh, come from the European Union, and that's been endorsed by the German government. The President of the Parliament, Herr Gert Pottering, who I admit is no friend of mine, but still the Labour Party are lying and lying and lying and saying it's 9%. Why can't people tell the truth? Let's get rid of them bag and baggage, all of them. They are corrupt and they're appalling. Let's start again with some politicians with some integrity for once, and let's run our own country. Uh, let's get it back. We can do this, you know. We did it in 1940. We can do it again. To find out more about who we are and what we stand for, go to the UK Independence Party website at www.ukip.org.